YouTube, this is the man 7431 coming back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Bluetooth gamepad with keyboard to any Android smartphone. It could be a generic smartphone up to a name brand smartphone. This controller will connect with all Android smartphones. Okay. Now, I haven't connected this controller at all to this Android LGG4. Okay, so this is going to be the first time we're going to be connecting this period to this phone. Alright, now if you guys follow my lead, you'll be able to connect your Bluetooth gamepad with keyboard to your Android device as well. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into settings and you wanna look for Bluetooth, okay? Now I've already went through this, I'm already on Bluetooth, all right? So you wanna go ahead and go into Bluetooth, just click on it, all right? And the only thing that I have connected to this phone is my JBL Bluetooth headphones, okay? So here is my controller. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. And the way you guys connect it is you wanna go ahead and press the home button and you wanna keep holding it until the light starts to flash really quick, okay? As you can see, it's flashing quickly. Now, in some occasions, you guys aren't going to probably get anything that pop up on the screen. That's normal. You haven't put it in search mode yet. A lot of you guys are probably running into this, into this issue. The only thing you have to do is go up to the top here where it says search and click it. And as you can see, it says input device, keyboard, mouse, etc. That's the keyboard there and it just switched over to game, Bluetooth gamepad, sorry about that. Now it says it's connected. That easy, that simple guys. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Now I know the next question you guys probably have on your mind is, how come you don't have the phone connected into this? And I had it connected into it earlier when I did this video the first time, but there was so much glare on the video. I mean, you can see me, you can see everything behind me. So you got a lot of glare on the video itself and it just didn't look good. So I figured I'll go ahead and do everything from the actual keyboard itself and then I'll just kind of make moves and everything after that. All right, so since we have that connected now and I'm not 100% sure how to get back to the home screen on this, I am gonna go ahead and use the finger and get out of this and go back to the main screen. All right, once we go back into the main screen, we're gonna go ahead and go into the web browser. Now, I should be able to do this without touching the screen, guys. Um, as you can see here, it's weird doing it from this angle, guys. But I have it right there on the Google search bar so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and again i'm doing this all from this the controller okay so now we're going to go ahead and type in youtube again this is all being done from the controller i'm going to go ahead and come up really close so you guys can see youtube All right, it's back in focus. 
and I'm going to go ahead and to select what you want you want to go ahead and click on the left trigger button back here that's going to automatically select for you all right and then to scroll up and down you're going to hit the trigger button here the left trigger button and you'll be able to scroll up and down the screen same as going back up all right and the right joystick button is your cursor all right so let's go ahead and hit the select so we can pick youtube and that was the last video that i was checking out earlier now if i want to reopen that back up again all i gotta do is put the cursor on it click it open it back up and bring the cursor up and resume play I don't think I have it on there now again I have it on my fire TV and um, I can easily take the SD card out and put it back into my computer and put the ROMs on but I think that I'm doing it definitely wrong and I just need you guys to help me figure out how to do it the right way. Okay, if you guys can help me with this, drop a comment down below. Once we get this up and working, I'll go ahead and PayPal you the 20 bucks. All right? This okay, and then I hit it again to pause it. Very, very simple, easy to do, guys. As you can see, Keyboard works perfectly fine on this. If you want to search or type in any content, works very, very easily. Clicking on videos and things work very easily as well. Um, I just don't remember how to go back out of all of this stuff, guys. So it seems like I'm kind of rushing this video and in reality, I'm not. I just don't want to sit here all day and figure out which button is the back button to back up out of all of this. So just to speed things up, I'm just going to go up and just tap to get out of this. Just want to show you the web browser really quickly. The next thing that I want to go into too, guys, is some gaming. So let's go into some GTA. You see my big old head there. And uh, as you can see, I haven't done any setup with this at all, guys. It just automatically syncs and works with this. Um, But this does run very smoothly, no lags, no problems whatsoever. And I just hit a dead end, literally hit a dead end. sucks guys I know but you know I'm not trying to be perfect I'm just trying to show you guys that this works beautifully with this control get out run around
beat up somebody. Give me some money. You don't need it anyhow. All right, guys. So as you can see, Grand Theft Auto works perfectly fine. Um, again, I don't remember how to back up out of this. I don't want this video to be a million minutes long. So I'm just going to go up and just manually back up out of this. Now we're going to go into Dead Trigger 2. I already had a game playing with this with a different controller. So, um, let's see what that is. Okay, continue. So, one of the sweet things about this uh, Grand Theft Auto and this Dead Trigger 2 and a ton of other games is it already supports. Bluetooth controllers. So it's already set up to work with whatever controller you have. And that was the beautiful thing about this controller is that it was already set up and ready to go. You know? Let's show you guys. Now, the thing about this game here is it's going to automatically start to swing or the gun is going to start shooting or he's going to automatically start swinging that branch on his own. All you got to do is just walk up to the actual zombies. Alright. You know what I'm saying? I just switched to the gun. So she's in trouble, so we gotta go help her out. Alright guys, so as you can see, this controller works beautifully, browsing the web, playing games, playing emulators, I'm not going to play an emulator this time around, but trust me, it works with emulators, Android games, matter of fact, let me go into the Android store. 
so I can show you guys what I was talking about earlier before I get ready to end this video. All right. So we're going to go, let me zoom back out of this. All right. So if I go up here, now you see where it says controller support. That's all you got to do. Type in controller support. And this here will show you every game that supports controllers. Okay. Now, as you see, there's Dead Trigger 2. That was one of the supported games. Um, now, I'm not about to sit here and flip through every last single game. But if you have an Android device, you can do the same thing. Controller support in the search bar, in the App Store. And you'll see all these selected games that you can play with Bluetooth controllers. Okay? Now, that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. Um, very, very cool controller. Um, now I have connected this to my Fire TV. I connected it to my PC. And I've connected it to my Android phone. It works beautifully, guys. Um, if I had to rate this controller, Right here, I would definitely give it five out of five stars. Very good controller. The keypad works very good, feels good in hand. Um, the controller itself overall is a very nice controller. Um, I paid $11 for this on eBay. Um, really, really good controller. Came pretty decent. Uh, about a couple weeks, I received it. Um, haven't had any problems at all. Connectivity connects very, very well. Um, I definitely recommend you guys order one of these controllers. I have a link in the description down below. Um, there is no rumble in this controller at all. It's just a regular controller without rumble. Um, battery life on this is about 10 hours of gameplay. Um... Charge time is about an hour. You can connect this again to any PC, any Mac computer. You can connect this to all Android devices, whether it's an iPhone, Fire TV, Fire Stick, Android set-top boxes, um, Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 2. You can connect this to all those dedicated devices and it will work. All right. If you guys have one of these, tell me what you think about it. Drop me a comment down below. If you're thinking about getting one of these, drop me a comment down below. Tell me where you're going to get yours at. Um, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Share this video with your friends and family. This is the man 7431 getting ready to sign out, guys. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.